Um, obviously, different looking team going out against the Aces as you ended mm -hmm. the semester. What are the differences? What do you tell this team with uh, having a, a bit younger group? Um, it's, it's, it's hard because your first test is against the defending champs, a well-oiled machine, a team that has played together for a long time. And uh, what I tell the group is to go hard. You know, we've worked for a couple of weeks now on um, building a foundation on the defense and offensive end. Um, no pressure. Just go out there and play and enjoy the moment. I understand that there will be nerves. Um, I did encourage our younger players to lock in with our vets to, for them to understand what this day is like. Um, I know as a coach, there will be highs and lows and there will be moments where we have to kind of um, slow that game down and um, kind of restart, refresh. Uh, but at the end of the day, what a better way to start your season than with a greater challenge like this. Yeah, I tell them, make sure you eat first. It's an early, it's an early game. Um, just soak it in. You know, if, if you're a basketball aficionado or an athlete in this situation, you're going to have some nerves and it's okay. Um, 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 our, t our group is tight already um, and the chemistry that they have is amazing. And so I, they're constantly talking with one another about um, what their routine should be like. Um, you know, just staying focused on the court, um, staying connected, and just communicating at a high level. Yeah, just the uncertainty with Gabby, uh, how did he difficulties in just creating a, a, a roster and figuring out how you guys are going to approach the first part of the season? Um, honestly, I would say that we've approached it as if we wouldn't have her. And so now with the opportunity to have her, um, it changes with a, a player like that. You, you don't mind um, to add back into a roster of this, but as far as I'm um, trying to be, be athletic at the wing, um, trying to, you know, bolster our, our, our back court, um, our front court, sorry, so that we're, that we're rebounding. Um, uh, these are things that we were very uh, cognizant of and, and, and intentional about when we were thinking about this roster with the potential of not having her. Um, so, um, like we said, it's fluid. Um, what we see today might not be tomorrow, but we roll with it. It's our job just to get our group ready to play um, and focus on the task at hand. Here's a question for Maria on Zoom. Maria, go ahead. Maria Cornelius, 247 Sports, Tennessee. Coach, the graduation ceremony resonated tremendously with Lady Vol fans. They were all over social media talking about what a first-class organization Seattle is. How did that come about? And since you practice at Seattle Pacific, did you borrow those those robes for the uh, for the speech you gave? What do you mean, Maria? I'm not a doctor. Hey, yeah, you know, what's up? <laughs> a doctor of coaching. Um, so you know, I Jordan had communicated. Um, to us about this day, um, the potential to go to graduation. And, you know, we want to support our athletes no matter um, in whatever it is. And, you know, as a coach, I wanted to make sure she was ready for this first game. And we went back and forth and she came to the conclusion, we came to the conclusion that she was going to stay. And I thought that was very mature and, 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 and pro-like. And because of that, I, I talked with Talisa in the group. <laughs> Coach Ebb was our uh, creative director. Um, we kind of put our minds together about how we can make this special for her because of just knowing that when you're an athlete um, at the pro level, sometimes people forget that you're a human. Um, and there are things that you miss all the time, graduations, weddings, um, some big events in life. And so for us to um, put that together it just shows that we care. Um, and it's more than just basketball, especially for me. I always talk about the people. I care about people. Um, and I want um, our team to feel that and breathe that and live that and know that I'm, I'm we're about that. And so kudos to T, you know, in our organization to so just back that, um, and we made that a special day for Jordan and um, our, our the team just rallied around her and um, I thought it was amazing. I, I, I love the, I don't want to say my costume. <laughs> um, I felt special as well, um, but I, I'm glad that we were able to make that happen for her because she deserves that. Thank you, Dr. Quinn, appreciate that. <laughs> Medicine woman. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's a great question. I, 
I actually had the day off. So I was in Minnesota. I actually flew to LA, graduated, walked and flew right back. And so, um, you know, I was blessed to have that opportunity. I know that's not with every, you know, athlete in this league. Um, so <laughs> I understand how big that is, you know, and um, I was, you know, UCLA is a big deal, <laughs> big deal. All right, thanks, guys. All right, thanks. It.